Fabinho. All right. Get that out of the road, of course, here, did I? It's uh, Sunday. It's Sunday, the 8th of September. And I'm currently at Westcroft Boy at my dogs. Um, we've all met here this morning because we're going to meet Staff's Koi, which is being held at Olibush Garden Centre. I've had a nightmare going through Wolverhampton because the half marathon's on as well, so I managed to land anyway. Uh, it's currently around about half past ten. Um, I'm just having a cup of tea before we go, but I'm, I've sort of wandered away from the rest of them. Come in the, in the garage. Just to have a quick look at these in here, because I know he's got he's always got fish in here. These are in quarantine at the minute, I believe. Uh, I'm looking good. Water's a bit cloudy. I don't know if it's, the food is lamping down them or what, but I've told him to back up on the food because he's always he's always lamping food down them. Uh, and just fat flumps, you know. Things. A bit like me. But uh, there you go. Thanks to everybody who commented on the last video as well about the shiro. I'm more angry with myself about that, if I'm honest, than anything else. Yeah, the advice I had probably wore the best, but or wore correct, I don't know. But it is what it is, it's happening now. But anyway, thanks to everybody for commenting on that. Um, like I said, the, the water's a bit crappy in here. These are, these are averaging around about 15 to 20 cm now. Um, I'm looking good. He had, a, he had a little bit of an issue with Costia in this tank which is just normal, not all dealers will tell you, but Mad Dog's got no issue with telling anybody what he goes through. Uh, so he's PP'd as well, so maybe some of these colourings from, left from the PP, I don't know. Some of these fish are looking cracking in here. Um, still a lot to do, still a lot to grow. I, I believe the fish up the top in Pond 3 have finished their quarantine. They are all set ready for the show, but obviously they are up for sale at the same time. So if you want to get your pick out of them before the show kicks in um, at the start of October for the Birmingham show, then come and get your pick out of them. Also, these will probably be featuring in that show as well. So these will be ready to go. Plus other stuff. So he's, he's pretty much all revved up and ready to go in all fairness. Um, it's going to be a long weekend that is, I'll tell you but it'd be a good one at the same time. Uh, the Saki Kari for sale, there's all your dry goods and everything as well, all available at the show. Um, so if you I, if you I got any plans on that weekend, get yourselves down to the Birmingham show and come and have a look. Um, we'll be there, all, all supporting Glyn and his very first show. So he should do well, hopefully he should be okay. Um, of course, there's any reason why you shouldn't, if I'm honest. Uh, as long as people just leave him to it and get on with their own thing. But it is what it is, there's that many idiots in the trade. You know what I mean? We don't need to name them, they know who they are. Always, always after themselves and, you know, it's supposed to be a community. But there you go. But I'm babbling on, so I'll, uh, I'll catch you when we get to Olibush Garden Centre for the mid staff show. And I'll uh, take you to walk around there. Happy days. Catch you later. How been you? Just landed. Just spin you around to show you what's going on. The Midstaff School Show 2024 here at Hollybush. As you can see, big tent. I don't know what he's doing here. Cool. What's he doing here? Sorry. Mad dog, what are you doing? My trousers keep falling down. Let's have a look. No! <laughs> so we're here. Mad dog's, Mad dog's messy with himself. We've only just got on the car park. But there you go. So I've got a feeling it's going to be one of them days again where I'll get in there and everybody's going to stop me. But there you go. Here's Mark. How you doing, Mr. Rotten, how are you? Right, I'm good, mate. This is Mark. Probably took GC again, are you? Every time. Every time. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll get, get myself paid. Here she is. I've got a bowl to pick for oh. you. Oh, shit. I'll, go, I'll go this way. I'll go this way. minutes in potassium. David. <laughs> oh, God. No. David. Oh, David. <laughs> David. <laughs> David. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. You're gonna cop some sticky there. I'm dying to see you, David. I know. 
Right then, that was the mid staff call show. <laughs> We're going Come Ollie Bush. On. Come on, I didn't know you were filming that. Yeah. No. Yes. You, you can you can get rid of that day. No, no. Me. I don't do editing. <laughs> right. I'm gonna see Pete and pay me money and uh, and then we'll be done. So we've just got paid in. I've just come uh, have a look. Nice, nice maple. Obviously, these are all at the uh, the Ollie Bush Garden Centre. Um, so they put their displays on as well. They're also selling fish inside, even though I ain't got in yet. Um, Vacha, what's that for? How is he? Happy days. We'll have another half a dozen. So here we go, we have to be walking. We've got Ollie Bush obviously selling their stuff first. Um, this is the Ollie Bush stand. Let's be positive, what's that we should see? So we've got show deals, Japanese koi, 50 each or two for 80. On the Japs, don't know who the breeders are, taking no breeders. Hey? Hey, isn't that? Yeah, I heard him on the phone yesterday. Telling me about how he's blew his van up. So, them ones, sorry, them ones was uh, two for 40 quid in there. 25 pound each, two for 40 quid, around about uh, 20, sitting between 15 and 20. 20 CM. Uh, in with Algans, two for 40 quid. And of course, I put their, uh, their display of dry goods on as well. A few bonsais across the back and whatever else. I know Koi, whatever that is, never heard of it. David Cheshire Bonsai's, White Pines. The pine cones on, just starting to open. Get the pine cones through there. It's <laughs> <laughs> nice tree on the back. Hungry flies and plastic. That juniper's nice at the top. Hungry flies and plastic pots. Yeah, I'm just saying them in plastic as well, mate. Yeah, just like Isle of Eli, I know. That's a nice juniper at the top. That looks real, is it? And this, that's nice as well. Yeah, I know. I had one of these and killed it. Kill a bit there. No prices. Nice white pine. Also a nice hawthorn as well. Is that Western Emlock there, Dave? Sorry? Is that an Emlock there? Uh, which one at the back? Yeah. Right on the right hand side, yeah. Elm, Sage Elm. Oh, is he? Sage yeah. Elm? Yeah. Okay. Cryptomerias are all in berry as well now, so the flowers have gone and the berries are on. Hey, that rhymes, don't we? That's a nice hawthorn. You don't talk to me then? What? Say no, it's cute. Really? Scott's fine, eh? It's Scott's all black. Oh, it's a red point. There you go, you learn every day. This is a nice spot, eh? A nice smaller one. It's only 36. It's good. Not sure when he's moulded, are they? Nice selection of trees then. Dave's obviously working on one. I had one off him last time I was here, which has been about three years ago. I'm normally on holiday. I know, I've seen it. Nice, eh? Is that all thorn, Dave? Uh, the whole thorn? I never remember. You don't need to remember, just, just <laughs> come off the top of your head with one. Have they got prices on? I don't realise there's prices on. There is on some of them. That one hasn't. Let me check. Oh, well, that's it. Then it's free, eh? Buy one, get one free then. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta keep trying, eh? You gotta try. <laughs> Four twenty. That's a more price range, that one. <laughs> nice tree, that lovely tree. Cracking tree, that. Traditional English hawthorn. 
What colour is it? Any flowers? It's just a white one. A white one? Yeah. Single white? Single white, yeah. Lovely. So we, we continue. Here's Kev. Having you, Kev? Hello. Is she doing the raffle ticket? No, I'm just uh, loitering. Loitering. Yeah, hey, loitering, very fine. I'm sitting down. <laughs> well, we got nine Here's nine. Craigie Willis, look. Here he is. So if the social want to know where he is, he's here today. Okay, tell you off. <laughs> now you're to town with a bad Who? Oh, 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 you got in peace last night then, yeah? Yeah. Boy, all past night we've drunk them. All past night all the day they've gone. And it's... <laughs> right, I'm just going to put you on pause, guys. I'm going to stick you on pause, because I'm just going to have a, have a quick rattle and then I'll catch up here in a sec. Right, as I've, uh, as I've managed to move on a little bit, just spin your hand. Ken, who always supports the shows, uh, Koi Collection um, from Coventry, supports all the local shows, absolutely banging. Uh, top bloke, top geezer, of course, South is here representing Ken today. I don't know if Ken's here, I hated him. But uh, they've got all the stuff on display. All the dry goods, no wet sales from Ken, which normally they're aid I'll bring fish. Uh, Saki Kari. What's the price on this? Just got, just got labels on with no price. Born again, I have Jacko's here again. <laughs> Always turns up though, he's Jacko. Born again, I have What's the boy now? What are you, boy? Boy trees. Look, right, look, look right. I must have been telling Look right on your pond wall, I would. What would? Look lovely on your pond wall. What, you have a picture of you? Me? I'm I reckon we should get a picture of you on my pond wall. Just get that last from me. Scare the neighbours off. It's Jacko. Richest bloke in Wolverhampton, that is. <laughs> well, second, his father's got more money than him. Nice, are they? Bonsai. Bonsai by wires. So, yeah, nice, he's. Nice, he's. Nice big forest. You are. They're probably on the bottom. I know you've seen plenty of these before in the past, but they're cracking out, eh? Nice, nicely displayed. So we go from the wires, we'll get to the centre ring in a minute. We go from the wires to the reel. Plenty of larches. Little Japanese maple there. Let me just zoom you around. Larch. Nice tall larch there. So as we continue, chopping boards, are they? Yeah. All right. So I would say they're probably burnt on with a soldering iron or something like that. So Jay's daughter. These are nice, aren't they? So again we've got coasters and, and I think and slate. I think that's a slate, yeah. Pieces of slate, they're actually printed on them, man. So they're printed onto slate. Uh, again wire bonsai and so on and so forth. So these are nice. Hey. What? V cactus. <laughs> Enjoy it. So yeah, some different these. Looking good. You got your wind blowers or whatever they are. What are they? Yeah. Wind blower things. Keep the errands away. 
Have you got a license for that colour? No. Nope. <laughs> well, can you get one? No. Nope. How you doing, Steve? You're alright. Just having yourself. No change, yeah? No, I'll try not to. Try not to. If you ain't doing this, he's eating, he's eating big breakfast. That's Steve, who you can hear. All over the country, he's there. He's there, he's got the great big if breakfast. You've ever, if you've ever watched Monsters Inc, he looks like so. That's the one. <laughs> it's just a gob on there. <laughs> so, David Groves and his, uh, his boy arse. Oh, we've got some picture framed on the bottom as well. Not for you, but for the stuff. So, Dave does these on slides. I know, I have a slide. See me on Facebook? I, I have done a couple of times, I, I have done. But these are nice as well. I'm all sold. I'm all sold. You normally do well, though, don't you? You normally do well. I think it was Steve who got him into paint, too. Who? Was he? He was getting into anything he will. This bloke will get you into anything. So, I wouldn't thank him for it. I know, I'm stressed how we used to learn him. Let it come, 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 Oh. These were dogs at the start. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Right then, I'm going to move on. Why? Right, as we continue, that's Dave Groves' is, uh... Yeah, cut your heart. I'm, I'm totally getting lost here. Obviously then we've got, uh, Obviously your cups and, and stickers and whatever else. Stuff for the kids, crafts. Nice touch. And then we come on to high fragrance handmade wax melts. It smells like a house. There's always a candle on the goo. <laughs> so if you like your wax stuff, look them up on Facebook. Uh, Ashmore Rescue for Cats. That's a bit of a raffle going on, so probably have a couple of quid on this after. Uh, again, Ashmore. Bit of everything. Can I get one in? Oh, yeah. We are. We are then. Groups that oh. You can join on oh, okay. We've got Facebook groups as well. Let me zoom in out. We've got Facebook, so if you're, a, if you're interested in uh, joining the groups, pause that and you can see what's going on then. There you go. No problem. So, here's a fish you might recognise. Here's a fish you might recognise. Even while he's chewing, whatever he's chewing, while he's eating. Hello, mate. How are you, darling? I'm alright, you. Alright. I was watching you this morning. How was you? Shame about that fish fight. I know, I know. That's crazy over there. I know. I know. At least you've been too good for us. Well, that's it. That's it. It is what it is. It's a mistake what was made and it will happen again. In all fairness, I never thought it was one fish. Nah, nah. Well, it's the first time I've ever done it, and I won't ever do it again. So it is what it is. But there you go. Enjoying the show? Yeah, yeah. Have a little look around. Go over there and have a look as well. I don't blame you. I've only just got here. It took me about an hour and a half to get to where I am now. He <laughs> took me to about. I'm always the same. I see all you bunch of lads here. Pete's here. Mad dog's here. Cal P. Well, he's non-existent now. I don't know what's happened to him. That's why I was waiting there, my missus waiting there for me. I'll leave, I'll leave it to it anyway. Alright, Paul. Right, well, <laughs> so here's the face you might recognise. What was that? The Jackie Tater or whatever was that? Half and Lass. Apple pie. And apple, apple, apple pie. <laughs> Get it down. You alright, yeah? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? Good? Yeah. You all right? Good, yeah. Happy days, so uh, as you can see, Fenland's doing a lot of printing and stuff now. Cups and lovely. So Fenland Designs, you can design any mug and I'll uh, I'll print it off. Jigsaws. Lotus, lotus flowers. Candle holders. Little fish. Nice, I like. They're all resin. I'm resin. 
little, uh, I don't know if you can see it properly, little resin coil. Several of. Is that Teresa? Uh, you are you waiting for me? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. just puss hellfish. Oh shit. There's a debate about that right there. Because when it comes to Tamasaba, I mean you. I mean you might alright. Oh. Put it on YouTube. Does ya? Yeah, I met that fish with it. I know. I spoke to you a couple of weeks ago. I thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was with the missus. I was still in bed, are you? I wanted to blab her last night. How did you? I was going to say, oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm going to go and get a cake, I think, and I'll catch Hello. you in a sec. Uh, our trees has found a mate, look. Actually, it was chickens last time on a shoulder, and now it's got help. Ruffling its feathers out. Yeah, yeah, love you with the ear roll in a minute. It's alright, it's got a <laughs> Just give a quick pan round as well while we're in this tent, because I have actually showed you. You've seen it from the outside. Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> oh, I had his haircut, eh? He's a he's, he's, he's the court keeper and that. He's, 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 he's moaning again by the look on it. So if anybody's got a, a, an engine for a for a transit van, hides after one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you was videoing, I'd never do that on your video. You do. I wouldn't. No, I'd never do that on your video. I hope Julie gives you a beating when you get home. How do you play your engine? Me Julie. Me Julie. Sorry. See. Look at the face on him. Look at the face on him. I'll tell you what, he'd crack his face if he smiled. Wouldn't he? I had the coy keeper. He's going on about his van song. I pause it there because he's so boring. Catch you in a bit. Well, then, as we continue, just give a quick look at it. We've got a pizza oven on the go. So, you get your pizzas and stuff from there, traditional pizza oven. And then we've got obviously a burger bar down there to get your teas Robin and your bacon Bastards. sandwiches and everything else. Robbing bastards. <laughs> Swearing on my channel again. No need to swear on my channel. <laughs> then we come to the Pierre de la Resistance. That was French. That was. Here's Scott, indulging. I've just had a piece of uh, apple pie, apple pie, for the people who don't understand Brackle. Yeah. Apple pie and I've had a fruit cake as well. <laughs> then we come over here. Now this is a bloke who sold out yesterday. Um, and I think he's, uh, he's he's bought more today. This is Kev at Koi Corp. And I don't love being on camera, so I'll try and keep him up. <laughs> so that's Kev. His number is on there, if you want to see that one. The kids have been busy all weekend. Um, he's doing super fish and the aqua sauce food. And he's also got a drug for sale as well. Koi Pro drug. Koi Pro 30,000. Looks good. Looks a nice piece of kit to be fair. Not too big. Around about two foot long, two and a half foot long by two foot wide. So that'll look a bad piece of kit. Superfish Koi Pro 30,000. So we'll see what Kev's got on offer. I know he did sell out as I said yesterday. So he's got on Masoko, Shiro's, and Kawaku, Nagomi. Um, they 150 each in here, looking at 35 to 40 cm, maybe slightly over 40, a couple of them. Just down here. And the rest of them just tossing over the back. So as I said, Kev sold out yesterday, he's been kept busy, so as you can see on that back there, that's all sold out. He's just off junction nine of the M6. And he's uh, 
distributor of active source food. And as I said, if you want to get in touch with Kev, there's his number there. And it's appointment only. So I'll go and see you. 100 centimetre ghosties. You've got some big fish in that bat over there. We're not going to get to it, I'll show you. Um, and we're going to have a quick look around the, uh, the, the show bats. If I can get around here, this way. So these are 200 quid, the chags are 75, the chags have all sold out. So these are 200 quid each. Oh, I'm looking at the fish and yeah, I'm looking at the floor. So just for perspective, that can walk you there, around about 65 to 70 cm. And for 200 quid you're going to find another fish like that. <coughs> 200 quid ballings. Well then, so we're going to have a look around the uh, around the show vats and then we're going to go and have a look over the uh, over the centre. Here's Jazz. You probably remember Jazz off one of the uh, off one of our uh, other videos. <laughs> you alright, mate? Hello. And here's Ruth enjoying a nice cup of char. Two pound fifty cup of char. <laughs> <laughs> Three pound fifty for a cup of tea. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna have a look around the vats. Catch up in a bit. First fact we come to, as you can see, absolutely nothing in here. And the reason being is because that there is the hospital vat. Now when there's nothing in here, always the sign of a good show. Plus we don't have injuries, we don't do injuries. So we come to uh, vat number 18, I'm actually going to be working back on these. Sponsored by Frankie Coy, don't know whose vat this is. Ryan Knowles. Took a couple of awards again. What I'll probably do is I'll probably look through these and then I'll uh, I'll overlay some some music on. Instead of walking you through every single back, it's going to get a little bit laborious then. That's seventeen, sponsored by Danny's Coy. That owner is Rob Dale. Rob's just down here. So these are Rob's fish. Nice practice, you know. I'm just over here, if I could find it. Good few of those, Rob. Got them in Rob's fish. Back number 16, sponsored by Northline Nets. This fat is owned by Ben, Ben Summers. I've seen Ben about, he's been walking up and down, I don't know what he's doing now. So again, took some awards, Ben has. Well done. Alright, so in this one, we've got Best Jumbo Koi. Now this one is owned by Kevin Sayers. Um, Kev was one of our, our video as we walked in, sitting down, loitering. So this is Kev's vat. Kinshawa, Sankei, Kawaku, Shiro Ture, Talk of the Devil. Cheers. There he is. Now he's took best jump, uh, jump out for your show, 75 cm. Well done, Kev. Yeah. So there you go, right as we move on, vat number 14. This vat, Liam Freeman. Some nice big fish in here. Uh, again, took a major award. Adult champion. Back number 14. Uh, the adult champion is the Kawaku, of course. Uh, nice Kajaku. A nice uh, Orenji Matsuba. I was, I was wondering then what it was, couldn't think. So, yeah, some nice fish in there. Back 14. Back 13. Sponsored by Koi Water Barn. That one there, 14, was sponsored by Lee Adfield. So, VAT 13. This one is Paul Dowland's VAT. Again, Paul took some awards. Uh, he took first in class and size for the 
Veko, third for Kawaku. Whatever else. I'm trying to look up horses. But there you go. Third in class and size for a Kawaku as well. Some nice fish. Well done, Paul. Back number 12. This is where all the, all the, all the loiterers are. Uh, sponsored by Paul Dowland's Coward. Uh, this this one belongs to again Paul Dowland. So this is Paul's second bat, and he's put, took a second and a first in class and size for the shower, which is this one this side. And a first for oh first in class and size as well. Matsue Kawaku, which is this one, a size three. First in class and size for the Beko, and third in class and size for a Kawaku, Matsue Kawaku, which is that one. So, well done, Paul. Two cracking vats. So, this one. Sponsored by exclusively Koi and Kev, Koi Carp. This one belongs to Gary Wood. This is Gary's vat. Some lovely fish in there. Again, Gary's been, uh, Gary's took the young champion on this one with the Kawaku. So Gary's uh, young champion, and that's the Kawaku. He's also took, uh, I think he's first in class and size for the Kijaku. And second in class and size for the shower. Well done, Gary. Here's Jacko again. And some bloke. Now we come to vat number 10, sponsored by Aquasource. Sorry about the camera work, guys. Um, I'm trying to get through these as quick as I can. I'm waiting for me to go over the, to the centre. Um, so we got a third. And first in class and size for Shiro Tsuri. This is owned by Mark Rotten, uh, Supreme Grand Champion, of course. That's the big sticker. Well done, Mark. Uh, we saw Mark as we walked in. We got first in class and size for Shower, and we got uh, second in class and size for Kawaku. So every one of them fishing that bat has took a. Have they? Yes, every one of them fishing that bat has took a prize. So well done, Mark. Cracking display again. Nice Shiro. And that's your, that's your grand champion there. Here's your grand champion. 2024, well done Mark Rotten. As we continue, that number nine, FG Building Consultancies is sponsoring this one. Uh, this one is owned by Mandy Richards. So, Mandy's took first in class and size for the Kijaku, second in class and size for for him now, Ginrin Chagoy and second in class and size for the Sankei. So here's the Sankei, second in class and size. Here's your Ginrin Chag and there's your Kajaki. So some lovely fish again on display. Well done, Mandy. Congratulations. Right. Uh, this one, oh, look who's look who sponsored this one. Some sad bloke. As this your vat? This is, this is this bloke vat here. <laughs> so this is Mark. Mark Richards, so what we got in here? We got... Uh, uh, Mark glasses are now good, you know. So we got a sag egg which is took first in class of toys. Uh, a Boschke, first in class of toys. Benicky Kikurio, which is took third in class of toys. Budo Goromo, first in class and toys, and we've got the Kawaku took second in class and toys. So all fishing there again with awards. Well done, Mark. Cracking, cracking show. Nice to see. And that's the vat, the vat, which is sponsored by some weirdo from the Black Country as well. Well done, mate.
Right, as we move on, this one uh, sponsored by Lee Hadfield and Cutlebrook, uh, VAT number 7. This VAT belongs to Nathan Early, who uh, I'm going to put my money on now that these are probably English bread fish in here. Now, just to show where English bread fish can take. Uh, he's took the Jimmy Morris trophy for a start, so that's an appreciation award for the club. Second in class is always, which is the Shiro Beko. Um, let's, let's show you the fish instead of showing you this. So you've got second in class in size for the Shiro, you've got second in class in size for the Gin Kinrin, uh, Sankey. You've got second best in size 2 and first in class in size for the Kawaku. You've got a second uh, for the Shower, which is the Ikari Mono, the Yamato, Yamato, uh, Yamato, Yamato Nishikoi. Uh, so we've got second for that best in size 2 as well. And we got a first for the shower. We've got uh, first in class and size for the Shiro Atsuri and a first in class and size for the shower. So let me just re-illustrate this. These are gonna be mostly English breadfish. These are from Rod Baston. Now I've covered Rod Baston before on more videos. And this is the sort of quality you're gonna get off them lads over there. So don't be put off by English breadfish because every single fish again in this vat has got an award. It speaks volumes, do we? You know what I mean? Just to give you an eye, there's the Kawakus. You know what? They don't come out of Japan no better than that. I don't care what anybody says. They're flawless. They really am flawless. But as we move on, well done Nathan. This one, sponsored by Exclusively in JPN. Whose name's on that, mate? On the top? Robin Joe. Oh, Robin Joe Bergen. So, this is their fish. Again, every fish is decorated in this bat. Robin Joe have got some cracking equipment. I've, I've, I've already been to Robin Joe's and we've seen that on videos before, so... You've, you've probably seen all that before now. But yeah, some cracking uh, co-op in there. Right, so that's fat number six. Right, we'll have a look up here. Cheers, kid. It's all made. There's uh, Robin Joe's awards. So well done to them. Fat number five. This one sponsored by S. Webb and some funeral directors. Aston Staff's Motors Spares. This, this vat is owned, that's cracking, Paul Guy Shiro. Uh, Adam Sandup, Sandup. So Adam, you probably see Adam on my uh, on my videos when we was moving the shed and stuff. Adam and Chelsea come over. So what we got on here? Third in class and size for the uh, yeah for the car guy. Which is class this Kawari one out. We got the Sankey, which is uh, first in class and size and third, best in size six. Well done, Adam. First in class and size for. Chag and surprisingly the Sankey that one there I took an award which I'm surprised at put some lovely fish in there well done Adam credit to you mate well done so we've got vat number four we've got best oysters in this vat this vat is on oh, oh Dan Fletcher's got this one cracky shower Dan to one of uh, so Dan's took uh, first in class and size for the Sancho Sankey, first in class and size for the Shiro, third in class and size for the Shower. Which one? This one. So we got we got that one there. That's the Shower. It's all right. We got Coyle here taking photos of me while I'm videoing him. Uh, and the best oids, we just took the major award for best oids in the vat. Again, is a shower. And yeah, I do believe, where is it? Oh, it's this one here. This one here, best oids. So well done, Dan. Cracking vat of fish there, mate. Absolutely stonking. Lovely fish. So we get to vat three. This one sponsored by some strange bloke from the black country again. 
This is called uh, what? This is the bloke who's taking the photos. <laughs> so let me just have a look. So we've got. Uh, Kyle, tell them what you took so cool reading from here. Two firsts and a second right. Four. Yamabuki. First for Yamabuki, yeah? Uh, Sankey first. Sankey first. Sanky took a third. Chugs took a third. What about the Kawaka? Nothing, mate. Nothing on the Kawaka? Nothing on the Kawaka and nothing on the smaller chugs. Okay. Smaller Kawaka is Sankey. Well done, mate. Well done. So there you go. Cheers, kid. As we move on, we get to vat number two. This one's sponsored by Fenn and Lass and Kasuri. This vat is Lisa Leach. Now I know Lisa's done uh, done pretty well in this this competition or this show as well. So she got Kawara Mono. She got uh, first in class and size and the most unusual koi. Black and white one over the back. Matsu Kawabaki. Uh, let me just zoom in out a little bit. Oh, oh, you're looking at me now. So, most unusual. We've got second in class and size for Kawaku. Uh, first in class and size for the small. Oh, Kimatsu. Second in class and size for the Flat Amalga. Which is, what am I doing here? There you go, right, that's better. Platinum Algon, second class in size, and third best in size too for the Gajaku. So well done, Lisa. Cracking display again. Well done. So, final VAT, or the first VAT, as I said, I've worked from the bottom all the way up. So first fat, who's this one Kyle? This is Nigel, Mr Chairman. Oh, this is Nigel's. Uh, again, decorated again. So we've got, uh, what we've got, second class in size for the Arenji Matsuba, which is the one over there. We've got first in class in size for the Akali Muji, which is the one underneath it. Second in class and size for Shiro Beko, which is just over the back. And first in class and size for, for the Asagi. So every fish except for the Shag, by the looks of it. Absolutely, Shag has to go. To go. Chuck's took second in class and size, so the only one was, was not decorated, which I can't even see in the, in the bowl now, would you just do it? Sorry about, the, uh, sorry about the camera work, guys. So there you go, happy days. So just a quick look around the bats. Gaffer's waiting for me. So, come in. Mad Dog's waiting for me. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, here's Becky. Oh, yeah, I see Becky. Oh, there's, there's Liam as well. Here's Beck. All right, Beck. Oh, yeah, I see Jack. Must have walked straight past you earlier. I bet you saw most at the other show, do you? So, Becky again, Koi on Slice. Absolutely fantastic. Got loads of Becky stuff. Um, which one? This one. Yes. That's what I just said. That's nice. So that's that one there, and I love art slice. So as you can see, cracking, absolutely. Prices as well. You don't charge enough. You really don't charge enough. You can charge less when I'll but you don't charge enough. So this is Becky, Becky Chitter, modern art. Um, you can look her up on Instagram. Uh, all sorts of art. Tony, Tony fishes it. You do everything, do you? So he does everything. So look her up on Instagram and. Uh, I'll get you sorted if you're after anything in particular, but this this really is classic stuff, really is. Bang on, and again for the prize, poor really my own attic, don't you?
Right, I'm going to put you down because I've just done 10 minutes or waffling. Catch you in a bit. Only 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes. Yeah. Have you censored that one on you? Yeah. 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 No, sorry. 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 I tell you what, guys, you are small, lot for years. Nine minutes. <laughs> Here's me mate. Here's me mate. That one there is me foe. This is me friend. That's me foe. I do love David. I love David too. There you go. I'm getting a bit warm now. So we've just been getting up and ship out. Helping everybody ship out. Everybody's going out the back of the tent now. Just to uh, get the fish out and everything. See you, Sam, tomorrow, Um And we've just come down the bottom. I'll show you what for. Our friend and lass is here. What's the name of the hill? Thorn. Thor. There you go. I know the hill's well, been well documented. Or, uh, makes a, a celebrity appearance. So there you go, there's Thor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Catch you later. Nah, been ya. Just got back from the show. Um, I just want to take my hat off to everybody who's put that show on today because it's been a, cr a cracking show and unless you're involved with the club you don't realise how much it takes and the expense and the work and everything what goes into something like that it ain't like it just happens, it really ain't so big, big well done to, obviously to Nigel who was show chairman Colleen, Lisa, all the committee of the midstaffs well done to you all um, I can't really say enough to really thank you for putting a show on for us, Joe Public. I mean, I know I'm a member of the club, but I'm still Joe Public. You probably just heard a splash. Now, you remember the other day I bought an Omosoko Shiro. While I was at the show, um, I was offered this fish for a real steal, if I'm perfectly honest with you. This is going in the sleeper pond, um, as, as this is my quarantine. It ain't going in the main pond, so obviously I've got to make sure everything's okay before it goes into the main pond, such as everything else. So I'll spin you around and I'll show you what I've got. From here again, I ain't going to take the net off because you've just heard it jump. So we've got a male, uh, Omosoko, Shiro Tsuri, around about 30 ATM. I haven't measured it, but it ain't 40, trust me. I'll be very, very surprised if it's 40. I'm doing now PP dips on this one either. Just for the record, Colleen, who had me life all day today, but I still love her, love her to bits. Um, this one's from Kevin Koykarp, and it's going, as I said, it's going in the sleep pond, it's going under quarantine, strict quarantine, and we'll see, uh, see how it goes. So, there you go. So there you go then, that's, uh, that's the, the mid-staff's uh, yearly show done, and uh, again, Acts off to you all, everybody, even the, the people who showed, um, down to whoever's cleaning up tomorrow, you know what I mean? You've all been a brilliant, brilliant club, um, and it is what it is. This fish is going to jump again, so I'll, uh, I'm going to sort it out and I'll catch you later, in a bit.